Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Got pepper sprayed on man, uh, tackled him to the ground. A security guard jumps into action after an elderly man is brutally attacked in downtown Los Angeles. That victim punched and kicked several times and left right there in the middle of the sidewalk. Hello, I'm Brandy. Hit in for Giovanna Lara. I'm Jory Rand. Here's the latest at 6. That video is tough to see. A viewer sent us this story using the hashtag ABC7 Eyewitness. That brutal, random attack happening near the Whole Foods on 7th and Olive in downtown. Eyewitness News reporter Melissa McBride is live in downtown Los Angeles with more from that security guard who stepped in to help. Melissa. Jory, we're on Olive and we're right near the entrance to a parking garage and that's where the security guard was standing, not too far away from where I am right now. That attack happened across the street there, down the street, very close to some businesses. There's a Domino's Pizza here. There's also an exercise studio and this all happened when people were around in the middle of the afternoon. And I just heard somebody go, oh my God. And then I turned around and his head was being stumped into the ground. Security guard Walte Simmons ran across the street to stop a homeless man from beating an elderly man. The victim was critically injured and left in a pool of his blood. We've obscured the disturbing image. The suspect tried to run away, but Simmons made sure that didn't happen. When I asked him what was his problem, he said he tried to rape me. And then he turned and looked at me and started charging at me. So I put out my pepper spray pepper sprayed him and then he dropped all his stuff uh, uh, tried to run away and then I tackled him to the ground and handcuffed him. Police say the victim was randomly attacked. He lives in the neighborhood and was just walking down the street when a mentally unstable man lashed out. Downtown LA residents say they often encounter transients who are either on drugs or suffer from a mental illness or both. This is their world and this was this way downtown for lots of years and if you're going to move into downtown you have to understand that's what you're signing up for and that's the reality of living in downtown LA. There's constantly people outside of my apartment just they don't have any place to go and it's really sad that the, the city's not doing anything about it. Just last week, the LA City Council voted to restrict the amount of personal belongings the homeless can keep on city streets. They're allowed to sleep on the sidewalk from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m., but need to be able to move their belongings off the sidewalk during the day. Some people we talked to say that's not the solution to LA's homeless problem. I could be doing a lot more myself as a resident. I intend to actually do a lot more as myself as a resident both as a result, not just of this tragedy, but just the ongoing everyday tragedy that doesn't, quite frankly, doesn't make the news every day of people dying on the streets, of people starving on the streets, of people sleeping on the streets. And you may have noticed in the video that there were people who were standing around the victim and they appeared to not be helping him. Well, on social media, one person explained that people were afraid to move the victim because he did have head injuries and they were waiting for the paramedics to arrive. Meantime, the security guard says he did what he thought anybody would do in the same situation. Reporting live in downtown L.A., I'm Melissa McBride, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Scary